It's an interesting question, isn't it? When you start to think, why are we the way we are? Why is humanity as it is? And the Bible begins with this great phrase. You probably know it. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God says, let us create man in our image. And he reveals wonderfully there who we are and what we're like. Sin is a word that probably makes you feel uncomfortable, maybe even a little embarrassed in church circles, but actually it's really important for us to understand. Romans 6 says, the wages of sin is death. We should be the people who are more conscious of our sin. People should never say about us, oh, they're holier than thou. They should, people should see in us that repentant hearts, people who know that they've got it wrong, but come to Jesus as their saviour. I think that Christianity is essentially quite simple to understand. It isn't about years of study and um, spiritual disciplines to come to some deep point of enlightenment. Thankfully, you don't need to be a genius to understand that at its simple level, it's about a gift from God, a gift of a relationship with God, one that we can never earn or achieve by, by what we do, or one that we could reach up to heaven to claim. It's got nothing to do with our own efforts, yet it's freely given to us. But at great cost, a cost paid by God's Son, Jesus, by dying on the cross. Jesus rose again on that first Easter day in a glorious new body. Paul says he was the first fruits from the dead, the first of the new creation. He, in a way, is the prototype of a new humanity, the first one. Every little bit you can do to help the new kingdom come is important. There's nothing you can do that is insignificant in God's economy. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord, the sky above proclaims his handiwork. And the real wonder is that so do you and I.